Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big, something none of us were meant to know. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial, Millstone. This is reality. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. If you don't believe me, go pay a visit to the Puppet Master who's working against her own kind. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. You've got me all wrong. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, 
The tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything, Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Spacer's Choice Pre-Sliced Bread. It tastes fresh because it was. For 10 skills of the above big response. Max, you're always going on about destiny. What did your mother do? She was a simple laborer. And your father? The same. You and you ended up a preacher how? Delusion. I could not accept the life that I felt was beneath. Impressive place, Dr. Chartrand has.
After Cascadia in 1084, I was expecting this. Chartran does a thing for sticking lab notes in here. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms, that I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong. No matter what the law says, everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. I can certainly understand why. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclein. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all, but we have to keep trying. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing and will be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony.
I try not to, least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. It may not be pretty, but we risk the colony's downfall if we hinder the Doctor's research. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? What kind of scientist would I be if I held to a promise like that? I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Wrong answer. Here they come. think you're doing oh I guess uh, never mind that
Crew report. Bioka is drunk. So We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Do return. Is it done? I see. If you need directions to Byzantium, it's the big fancy one. Can't miss it. Not as much as I'd like. The board dispatched it to Earth on a resupply mission, I think. Why? Interesting. It's possible the board wanted the cruiser to disregard ancillary tasks. But to what end? I'll have someone look into it. But for the moment, we're pissing in the wind and shooting in the dark. Considering how you get around, you'll probably find answers before I do. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? Seeing as you're the first one to complain about my paranoia, have you ever considered that you might be the problem? Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. <laughs> 